What's up everybody? My name is Chase Benami and this is a little intro for the, the episode you're about to watch of uh Resident Evil Remake episode nine because I gotta say something that something went wrong with the recording. Uh the unfortunate thing happened where the entire this mic for some known known fucking reason did not work, so the entire um the the in, my brain's not working. The entire audio was gone. There was no sound to it. None at all. And I thought, what do I do? I mean, do I just do what I usually do when something goes wrong with recording? Just start a new episode and explain what happened in the last episode and all, all gameplay-wise? And I thought, no, nothing went wrong with the gameplay per se, just the audio. So so what you're about to watch next is going to be a little bit different thing. I'm going to do a post commentary. I'm going to commentate over my own gameplay I just did which is going to be weird and maybe fun and maybe a, or maybe just be a giant garbage fo- tra- truck on fire who knows but hopefully you enjoy this it sucks when stuff like this happens but like I said the gameplay is there and I just didn't feel like it would be just dumb to not because there's good footage like some cool shit happened and there was, there was not much plot but stuff happened and I know a people played these games before and the, and the reason that some people might like to watch me play old games is like oh yeah I remember this and that bit's gone and it's just like it was just because of an audio failure not because of the gameplay failure it happens to me a, a lot of times I don't know why um, things go wrong with me with, with technology technology just hates me for some reason but yeah Hopefully, I mean, I always test my recording equipment before starting recording, so it's always weird when this stuff happens. Like if it was the last recording, it wasn't all three of them. <laughs> Not episode seven and eight, just the ninth one. Nine! But yeah, hope you, you enjoy this, and obviously after this one, the next recordings will be the same as, as before. So, I'll see you in a second. Okay, hello everybody. This round of thing at the start is just my usual auto sync. I know um, what to do and whatnot. So, like I said, the start is just going to be a post recording. Explain what I'm doing. <laughs> I realize this random spinning around in circles is just me spinning around in circles as I talk. So, obviously, when I'm in the last episode, we went and saw what was his face. The guy with the mic bites, and I decided to go back here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dumbass zombies. This is super or odd me because I'm just watching my own gameplay and talking over it. Like I said, I'm not sure how this is going to go. It's going to either go badly or go wonderfully. Ah, uh, there's zombies. Because uh, I wanted to see what was here. Because that was where we found him. We ran walk with horses. I mean, I felt like I could use this as an excuse to be almost like a podcast, maybe? You know, like kind of talk over and talk about some random shit because I don't, never mentioned this about the Resident Evil games I think I did at the start that I never really played any of them because well one when I was a kid I was too scared to play them but now as an adult I don't when zombies are terribly scary but this one has proven to be quite tense because it's the corridors and and tight areas you're going into um, but I don't know if after this I will end up playing the second one or the third one because it'd be going back down in graphics. It'd be this HD graphical game. And then, uh, shitty graphics. And I don't know if I ever even play, uh, if I even will play 7 as well. Because 7, you have to at least, um, play 6 really, because it does continue after 6. I've now been in this room. This room was interesting because I I knew there were secrets and I remember I had to go to this room. I was pushing it the wrong way, then I remember pushing it the uh, opposite way. But yeah, I mean, apparently Resident Evil. Oh yeah, because I pushed it that way. Um, Resident Evil Seven is also VR as well. I have no plans to get VR because I'm waiting for actual games to come with it. Because I'm really worried about the PlayStation VR because it seems to be going in the moves. Oh, zombie, yeah. Didn't know that zombie was there. 
Oh, yeah, I remember I did something stupid here. I used my grenade. I meant to grab the knife in its hand, but it just... Um, that, what the move did, it turned to... Ooh, that explosion. It tend to, when PlayStation had the move out, it tend to, like, ported games that didn't make sense and move. I remember playing Killzone 3 and it didn't feel right. It felt, you know, tacked on. Oh yeah, in case you wonder what I was doing here, I was trying to figure out if I could go down there or not. And it took me a while to realize that I kind of may need an item or something to get me down there because it looks like I can go down there, but I don't know how. Um, yeah, I was trying to see if my light would work or anything. Um, what was it about? I was about PlayStation Move, that was it. Um, didn't really work and I'm rather doing it because they, they're releasing like VR versions of get current games that weren't for VR and I don't have a PlayStation VR and I don't know but most things I've seen most of them are good but I'm still worried they're going down that road of not actually having fallen games that are specifically for it because although Resident Evil 7 is on PlayStation 5 it's not specifically for PlayStation VR because it's for both so you wonder how good is it going to be but yeah, I mean, with PlayStation VR, I'd probably wait, for me personally, I should wait a year until there's actual games on it. Not these ex... I just I did quotations. So I, I forgot to start. There's going to be a face cam. It's just going to be my voice. You'll be listening to through this. I know how long this is because I actually edited it down. Because um, the original... It depends on some recordings. Some recordings, uh, oh yeah, that's right. I grabbed that shield from, from what was it, the fireplace. I thought it might be important. I don't know why I was examining it. I can't remember. Like I said at the small intro, it really annoys when technology just goes, hey, you want a cool recording? You spent an hour recording? Uh, fuck you. But, um, oh, this won't be an hour long. I, I know how long this is because I've edited it already. This is what I'm talking over. I'm talking over my edited video. Um, oh boy, my brain's doing that freezing thing. Um, it's about 25 minutes long, so it won't actually be an hour. The reason it was longer because there's a puzzle which we should be coming up to soon, maybe? Uh, Zambo's dead. Um, that took me a while to figure out. We getting close to where it is. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think of stuff to say because it's like commentating over what I'm doing. It's kind of weird. Like I mean, usually when I'm commentating, I'm commenting as I'm doing stuff. Commentating what I've just done is kind of weird. I just wonder how people do they do this because people do this. Like you know, IGN has those rewind theaters of. Um, trailers and they talk over what they saw and watch. I guess that's kind of easy because then you start because if it's like a trailer for the next Marvel film you start speculating over what you saw. Oh this is the room I went into. This is the puzzle I was on about. Uh -huh. Yeah this is the puzzle I was on about. So now that you saw that cut that was just me uh, cutting because I think I figured out what it was. I felt like I just cut that whole section out of me trying and error and trial and error because these statues seemed familiar to me. They might have been something of from Uncharted 3. And I knew I got the order right, but what I was doing wrong was that I had to push them further in than they needed to go in, like that. So it was, it was, it was just one of those dumb things I didn't think of, like. I didn't realize I had to push them even further to um, get them to come in. That's what she said. <laughs> I, I wonder how many people get sick of time when we say that's what she said. It's a random joke between me and my sister where we'll say that's what she said, even if it isn't any sexual uh, connotations to it because it's just random to say that. Obviously, if you wonder why um, Chris is holding his side, because if you put the if you put the fingers in wrong or press the switch, a toxic gas a gas appeared and would calm you. And it took me several tries to figure it out. Oh yeah, this is where I realised I had no room in inventory, so it's gonna cut in a second to me going back and put, taking some shit out. Yeah, here we go. And and this was interesting to me because I didn't notice that when I first went through, I kind of glanced over, you saw the side of the wall, there was a note. 
And then when I went and entered in, look at that, items I did not know were there. Um, yeah, because the reason to pause now is because it's just me talking while these items here. And then just examining them. What was the same before? So this is really hard because I want to talk about random stuff while we do this, but at the same time, I, um, I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on so I can talk to what's going on. So this is me sort of inventory out. Um, in the past, calling, like I said at the start of this, um, Courtney's just always happened with you ever since I start this because originally what I would do was record, like I said, I, I do three episodes each in one session. I'd record them using one video and just cut them out to separate episodes. But several times in the past, this was like mm, roughly around the starting times of when I did Let's Plays around 2014 is when I started. It was both with um, Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed Unity where I'd record them in one session. And, and something went wrong, and with those ones, it was actually the gameplay. Like, there was no audio to the gameplay, or this weird distortion sound. I had no idea what caused them. And I had to. It got to a point where an entire long session with Watch Dogs was gone, and I had to explain what happened story wise in the first five minutes because the videos were unusable. Which was a pain in the butt, so I made the snap decision to do this differently. I still record three episodes in a session. Oh, yeah, here's where I read the note. And uh, I couldn't quite read the name. I'm not very good with names, but I'm pretty sure the name at the end, you can see it there yourself, said uh, Wesker, I think it is, the guy with the sunglasses. Because um, now we're going to cut to in a second me going back to get the um uh yes there i've got the box now and this is this is just me figuring out how to open it and i'll just talk over this because i just clicked several switches until it opened oh what was i saying oh yes um i tend to record one one episode then stop the recording then check check the order then audio and gameplay order, then start again, and then do that and that, and then I've done three recordings. Because that way, at least the entire session's not gone in just one episode, like this one. If I'd recorded these all in one, and they're all gone, the um, the mic audio, then that would be a pain in the butt. It did take me a while to figure this out. I might do some more edits if I can't think of other stuff to talk over this. Um... But yeah, that, that, that is, in my opinion, that's kind of the best way of doing it because then you run the risk of an entire session gone. But some people can't, maybe not be able to do that. Because I remember um, there was a Let's Play of the Game Gumps where they were doing, um, what's it called? Uh, Deadly Premonition, where an entire recording session, the game audio was gone and they tried to, you know, replace it and sort out the cutscene things themselves. Which was. Kind of, it's like some shit goes wrong, but shit does go wrong. I think I should be really figuring out any minute now. Because I noticed it vibrated at one point, and then. Yeah, and then we got a creepy mask. It took me a while to figure out, but I figured out where the mask what was going. Because I, I looked and I thought, it says it has no mouth or no nose. And I thought, Oh wait, what about those tombstones that um, have the creepy mask things in them? Because those could be it. Because um, I spent quite a time looking at it. I like examining stuff. I like this game that can examine stuff and it might lead to something else. And whatnot. And tic tac. But I don't think I go there immediately because as I was going along I wanted to see what other doors I could unlock. I am really worried that something's going to go wrong with th this mic order, but I definitely tested it before starting. So, you know, fingers crossed nothing does go wrong. It should be cut into that out. Now, yeah, because I was going to go through and I was going, oh, I wonder what's in this door, because I haven't unlocked these doors yet. And then and I found some other interesting uh, shit. What areas with uh, herbs? I said herbs. Was it herbs or was it herbs? 
There's one about that. Um, which seems to be littered all over the place, but that could be because I'm playing it on uh, easy. And it, it makes sense. I never like playing ho ho survival horror games on hard because they end up getting kind of frustrating. I know some people like that kind of challenge, but I'm just not that kind of person. I like a little bit of a challenge, but not frustrating challenge. That's why I would never play the Dark Souls or, um, or Bloodborne because I just know I'd get incredibly frustrated by those sort of games. I know some people love them and, you know, more power to Oh Yeah, this is where this weird lab thing is. I think in a second I'm going to end up reading a note. I'm not going to read it out again, but, you know, pause and read it yourself because I've mentioned this before. I'm not the best reader. I try my best. I'm trying to, like, read in my whatever spare time I get because I feel like the more I read, the better I'll get at reading. So it's not some awkward, monotone, clusterfuck of a... Uh, read because um, I think this is some I couldn't quite grab, grab what it was about but it seems some sort of scientist or some guy talking about stuff happening from the outbreak and then um, this is going to be paused at this a while because this just shows how slow and bad I am at reading someone has probably already read this entire sentence by now um, something about some dude's Daughter outbreak and wanted to apologize. I couldn't quite gra grasp what it was because my reading skills wouldn't allow me to read most of the words. Um, but I try my best. Like, I always try not use any problems I have as an excuse not to at least try. Like, I may have dyslexia, I don't know. And I always say it's the reason I don't know is because I was never really tested for it at school. And both my brother and sister have seen me read and they seem to think. That might because I get confused very easily. Apparently, that is some form of dyslexia, easily getting confused. That's why it can take me a while to figure out puzzles. Is they get, I go like, what, what, what am I supposed to do when a, a normal person would most likely figure it out almost in an instant? But that's just me. Um, yeah, so. I mean, someone can probably, pro properly, properly summarize what this letter was about because I couldn't quite grasp it because there was too many. It sounds so stupid saying this. There was too complicated words that I couldn't really read or make out. I know some people should say sound out the words, but that's going to be even more frustrating to watch someone sound out um, words while they've already finished reading the exact dialogue. It's kind of the reason why I haven't done any other like text-based games, because there's games I do want to do, but I just don't know if it would be enjoyable to watch someone read so badly. I do, because like, um, I've wanted to do Pokemon Coliseum for ages, because um, I never actually played it, but I watched uh, my twin brother, uh, yes, I have a twin, we're non identical. Um, play through the entirety of that because he was the one who had the GameCube. I think I mentioned this through, um, through the Sonic uh, Heroes because the Sonic Heroes disc I've been using is his for his GameCube that he got rid of, then re bought recently this year. I think my brother's chasing nostalgia again. But I watched him play through all of it. There was a plan to get him in and he watches me play through it because it'll be that kind of like reverse thing but the problem is he works full time and it would be hard to try and set up a recording time to for us to both record together and it's up to him if he wants to do it because uh, I only work weekends I have a job that I work at weekends which is good for me because I spend most of the week well, I actually spend two days recording and then spend most of the days <coughs> oh pardon me Rendering and the edits that take that long is mainly the rendering depending on the length of the video It can take up to maybe an hour or two hours. I mean like a 20 minute video takes an hour and a half If it's any longer than 20 minutes, it's like two hours if it's 10 minutes. It's like an Roughly an hour or sometimes 30 minutes. I don't know how rendering works I don't know how you know what takes more time is it's how much is in the video like if you have both Effects as well as um, face cam and whatnot. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think we're almost the end of this letter. Like I said, if you've paused in between each notes, let me know what it's actually about because I wasn't too sure myself. But at least you don't have to see the cringing reading I do. 
I always wonder if I should get really close up to my mic like this. Because I always wonder if I have my mic too far away or not close enough to me. And it's just me expl yeah, exploring and looking shits around here. Because I always like to be far. I always like to make sure I don't miss anything. Because you never know what you could miss in a room. Especially a game like this where you need certain things for, um, for like the puzzles and whatnot. Uh, I think I'm about to... Yes, yeah, so I was going to look at this glass and I got this bug. I took this bug from it. I didn't know what it was for, but these are more things I don't want people telling me because I like to figure out the puzzles myself. Like, you may give you hints, but don't outright tell me how to finish it because then it's, there's no sense of accomplishment. I mean, I will, I know, during recording, I'll go, well, I can't figure this shit out. I'm going to look it up because I'm in the middle of recording now. I don't want to spend an entirety of an episode trying to figure something out. I'm never going to get it. Like I said, not very good at figuring stuff out. It takes me a while. I'm very slow like that. Because then I put it back and then I try and... Because I was trying to flip a switch because it says push the switch. It still says nothing happened. And my fig figuring is that maybe I've got to get an actual bug that's like this. Or is this bug for another door or something? I mean, who knows? I mean, well, I mean, to say who knows. Like I said, this is such an old game. So many people know the answers to these puzzles. So, yeah, I think that's the only guy found in here. So, I think... Next, they went to the cemetery, I think. Oh, yeah, no, I think I did. Because I re remember realizing that the uh, mask was in one of those. And there's several of those uh, tombstones, so there must be several masks. But I am worried what it... I won't say anything. Because, I mean, it's one of those things... Oh, yeah, and then I went into this room. I've got to remember some of these rooms because I had no room for inventory for any of this. And I've got to remember some of this shit is here. I've got to remember that there's an old key there and I've got to remember to come back to these rooms. I also forgot to mention, some people are going to wonder why didn't I just reload my last save file. Well, the reason being for that was... Um, it was because I did a... I did me a thing I saved during this... Uh, uh, session because usually what I do to also make sure I don't have to do crap like this I usually say if I'm saving during recording because sometimes if I finish recording nothing went wrong after I stopped recording I would save but I saved during this because I did so much shit as you could see and I didn't want to risk dying and have to do that again um are you do oh yeah because here's it was just me cutting me to saving it so this me coming back to save it what I should have done is save it on a separate file, that way if we did go like us reload the same file again and do it all over again, which would still be a pain, but yeah, uh, but for the last, hmm, when was the last time I actually had a proper, something went wrong with an entire recording session? I think nearly a year, I think. I thought, yeah, nothing's going to go wrong. I have put the bug in because I feel like it could, it could be for something. Uh, so after this, it should be the cemetery. But I think after this, in future, I'm going to do If I have to save during the game, I'm going to save on a set before. So here, here we go. Here's me at the um, at the uh, uh, cemetery. I was trying to figure out which one it went on. It was this one, was it? What? Because I should have actually looked at the tombstones before putting them on. Because I put it on that one and then that happened. Because I'm worried what might be in that actually. And why am I actually, if I'm even meant to open that or not. I need to get close to the mic though. I love doing this going very close and having a deep voice. But, oh, I'm very gassy or something. Now, I think I proceeded on to try and figure out where the bug went. Because it looks like it might go in some sort of keyhole or some sort. sort. But I think I cut those out because I went to one area and it was just like... Ah, there was no point of going there and I just left that out. To try and short that. Because as I said, this video was originally an hour long and I, I had to try and cut crap out that I thought wasn't important. So it should cut to... I'm not entirely sure off this. If I've timed all the cuts for the open doors. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
fuck, this still scared me now. I was gonna say, it's a shame this recording went wrong because you want to show my original reaction to freaking out because I wasn't expecting all the zombies just to pop out. So yeah, I was going around trying to see if there's any other doors I could open. And then... Then, uh, what was I doing? Oh, I was trying to figure out, yeah, because I remember there was a locked door here and I thought, well, maybe that, then, then this prick came out. Because when this door wouldn't open, and I thought, this was supposed to be freaking out, I was spamming it. And then two more zombies came, and then he just... Oh, that was a cut, um... The reason that was a cut there, because I, I went upstairs because I thought it'd be in that other area, and then I realised, I'm an idiot, the, the slot where that door is looks like, like a button. This is just me dealing with these dudes. The thing is, I'm gonna have to still deal with this again, but also I, I'll start recording where this one ends, which we get very close to the end of this video now. I'm wasting a lot of ammo here. <laughs> That's just me making sure. And still pretty much beating up. So I'm probably gonna have to deal with those zombies again. But... Because now when it. I wanted to see if I was right, but it was stupid to think it would work on that. Like I said, don't tell me what the bug's for. I like to figure that kind of crap out myself. But I've got to remember that door upstairs. In fact, when we come back, I might have that old key, because that old key might be important. In fact, what I might end up doing is sticking the bug back in the inventory. Because remember, at this end, I didn't save after finishing the recording, so we'll restart from the last save point. Because then I found this room, and then I... Then I um, Examined some of these lights, and then if I remember correctly, when I click one, it should do in a second. Yeah, it's switched to a different color, so it must be a puzzle. Like I said, don't tell me what the puzzle is, I'd like to figure those out. So, should now I started wandering around for a bit, so this should be the end of this. So I'll close this out. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this weird, I don't know. It felt like a feels like a podcast over some gameplay because I talked about some random shit. But I hope you enjoyed this kind of post commentating over a, a gameplay. Next one will be as the same as before. So I don't know if this is going to be properly synced because I'm playing this as I talk. So hopefully it should be synced all right as well. Because I'm not even sure how you properly sync this. Because I'm hopefully it should be synced all right. Fingers crossed it will be. But you know. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys and gals in the next one.